don't actually say one way or the other about the Tillman's committee. They merely say that these co-opties would come and attend an attainment subcommittee. And your advice is that we would invite them to sit as part of this committee as well. In relation, certainly in relation to education issues, they wish to attend an education Chair, my, my point would be that if you're inviting them to this committee, might as well get the business done at this committee rather than inviting officers and everybody else to a second meeting. But you're going to go over exactly the same thing. I don't know. I've not got that education background, so I don't know. My understanding of that is that the um, new subcommittee would be dealing with education as such, but I presumed that those items would not be coming to this committee.
Thank you, Chair. The, the only question I want to ask is how did the report teams feel about the arrangement of proposing the report? And what was their reaction to the Happy or unhappy? <laughs> Well, um, we discussed with the properties at our meeting, as it says, um, come to the report, what they would like to bring to the committee and what they felt their expertise they had to bring was. Um, but then we had our deliberation separately and brought this report to the committee because, after all, it's the committee that has made decisions. Um, I think a proposal might be that we already have in um, recommendation 8.2 that the chair and spokespersons are authorised to finalise details of the remit reporting mechanism and membership of the attainment subcommittee. Now if it was to be that the attainment subcommittee was going to be the only place where education was dealt with, then that might be the relevant answer. But would, would the committee be happy to leave that? Oh, uh, Tom? Yeah, I, I would say that. I'm extremely unhappy about that in the yeah. sense that there are, I know what's happened over the years, and I have to ignore it, and that is the local management of schools and everyone's <coughs> families and so on. But this council has got residual and very important responsibilities in inside special needs and in ensuring that every child has access to a place in a school. Now, those are very important issues, which I think if there was an issue coming up, it's right that something like this committee discusses it in public. Because these are the issues that people really feel strongly about, and they have an understanding. And I'm not, you know, I'm not arguing against the importance of standards in schools, and I know that schools value their officer reports we are talking about and get back to them and so on. But these are real decisions that, in the end, the cabinet are going to have to make, and I feel that they should have a benefit of discussion here, and that should be a public discussion. There was absolutely every intention that the subcommittee would A, be in public, and B, discuss rather more than previous 0 to 19 standards committee has discussed. That doesn't mean that some of these education needs to come to the committee. Thank you, Chair. Uh, the proposal could be that clearly the key strategic items in relation to education would, would need to be dealt with in public at this committee when they are key, uh, key, key issues of really important, great importance around strategic issues. And the key issues that are identified through the subcommittee would be brought to this committee anyway for further, further discussion and deliberation. Yeah, thank you, Chair. I was, sorry, I was about to say something very similar in that the same committee, any decision that it, it comes to or discussion, surely would come to us anyway uh, as the full committee. Uh, and then obviously go through due process within the council procedures. So um, I'm, I'm quite happy whether or not uh, education reps wish to attend in relation to matters that are brought from the, uh, the attainment subcommittee to attend this meeting. Um, and then if there aren't any issues, then clearly they don't need to attend and need to stay from their time. They attend, they can really on those issues because that's not true. Mike, did you have something to say? Sure, yeah, I'd like to go back to a comment made by Councillor Smith about the, um, <clears throat> the, uh, how the co optees felt about things. Um, um, and obviously, they all thought that they should be members of this committee, but they realised, I think, in their heart of hearts, they couldn't be. Um, the important thing is that they have been very valuable as far as.
nervous about passing that responsibility to somebody else. If I had a view, I think it should be, if I wanted to be heard, that this is my forum for making me heard. Um, and I don't really want to pass on that option, to be honest. Um, I've been a member of the Children's Committee for a long time and it's been scrutinised at a very, very high level. Um, I sort of got a lot of people to the inside and said, Adam, um, who decides what key issues come to this committee? Yeah. If it's filtered out before we get it, we're not going to be sure about what's happening. And I'm, I'm quite concerned that issues that should be put in front of the committee may be decided by a subcommittee and, and, and things may be missed. The way it's scrutinised, the way it's scrutinised. And I, I, I value um, the properties, I value yeah. their input and their experience. Yeah. They've been very, very welcome in the properties that I've set up. But yeah. um, we just need to be very, very, very careful that we're not passing our responsibilities to the workers who think that they should be able to do this kind of So, Chair, I'm sorry, but I, I just didn't want to. This isn't meant to be anything other than the facts. We are in a position where we are with the size of this community and we are where we are. Um, but I don't want, I want to be involved in all the issues that I need to be involved in. And um, if I pass that responsibility on, as has been said, I don't know if I will be. Um, and unwieldy as it may be, my recommendation will be that this committee has to take its original form and reconstitute as all members and all the parties on both sides, and we have good long discussions and we scrutinise what we're supposed to scrutinise. Then, if there are issues that require further work, <coughs> then we will be subcommittee if required. Um, but it, 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 this way around, I think you're asking me to do two lots of meetings, and um, I'd rather only do one. So I've got other things to do. Um, I think we might have more meetings, though, if we're. It, Part of the concern, as we discussed it in the task and finish group, was that the education agenda is huge. Uh, so are all the other agendas that this committee has to scrutinise. And there was a sense that we might lose some of the detail of education. But by doing this, we will be able to have a, another group, which would be a subset of this committee. It wouldn't just be three spokes. It would be much wider than that. Um, so that was the proposal. Now, if we're going to say that we have a proposal, then we need to have some clarity around what it is. Um, I'm happy to hear that. Phil? Thank you, Chair. Just before we do, the question was asked to you to decide what the decisions are going to this committee, but so we'll this committee, and that's not the answer. Who will decide? Who will decide? It is largely a work in progress because the terms of reference for this committee can't be set up until this, this committee has agreed that they will run it. So it's, it's one of the chicken and egg sort of situations where we can't do one thing but so it's the same this committee not decide what goes to By the way, you get that kind of overview of what you're saying so you can't feel quite safe. Yes, but I guess in order to do that, I need advice from the properties. So, yeah, it's quite safe. So what I'm hearing from members is a sense that you think we should have the statutory co-opties attend this meeting, do all the education at this meeting, as well as everything else. Yes. If they get to the summary of what goes on the committee, no, you can't make decisions about what goes on to a committee by a committee of this size. We'd spend all evening discussing what to put the agenda. I'm sorry, but somebody, <laughs> I suppose it's best if somebody has to take a decision about what's in the agenda largely. In which case, then, would we just decide all of this committee as was suggested in advance? And what we use to do? Sure, Denise, did you indicate? Yes, I did. I mean, I feel. I think a lot of sadness that um, our proposals are you know, being, being, being rejected by members. Um, I thought we were going to have um, a positive solution. And if we did include all these agencies, if we put a quite a heavy agenda tonight, we would, we would be here much longer 
tends to go, I'm just um, cautious that we may be delegated some of our responsibility. Yeah. I would like to, to see the situation where maybe we can review this in maybe three months' time to ensure that it's the one property that's working the way it should be working. And it isn't that it can be adapted then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone would agree with that. But just, just, to be made, just, just, just to make sure that we're, we're on the right lines in the It's huge yeah. for us. So it's just to review the situation and make sure that things are working properly and that we aren't missing anything and that nothing is being slipped through the net and should be scrutinised properly at this. Okay. So we'll add that to the work. So we'll add that to the Yeah, absolutely, members. Well, the, the Minister for the Subcommittee will be public. It'll be a public meeting, and everybody will know about it. And the members of this committee can see and receive those minutes. Okay. Great, thank you. Let's move on to agenda item four. And uh, we're we'll pleased to have a report from Cheshire Mineral Partnership on community mental health service redesign and health design.